Good afternoon, everybody. Crypto String here. Just going to go over the latest news in the altcoin world. As I said in my video yesterday, it's been quite a mad week. You know, we had that massive drop in the crypto market where it dropped like over 60 billion. Um, personally, you know, the old coronavirus reached my home. My wife got diagnosed positive with that. So I've been self isolating. Obviously, great, you know, massive worrying time. Unfortunately, I'm just doing a lot better now. Me and my daughter are both negative, so it's just been one of those weeks, to be honest. So, um, moving forward, just puts life in perspective. Uh, everything else, even though that massive crypto drop, and it's very disappointing, you know, you see the effect that the coronavirus has, it puts life in perspective. So, getting back to the crypto world, this news I found really interesting on Cointelegraph, crypto.com latest to bank on DeFi hype with Uniswap based exchange. Now, I mentioned many fours about crypto.com. I think it's a fantastic exchange, fantastic wallet and app. And states here that crypto.com can conglomerate dealing primarily with payments and exchange of crypto assets announced its foray into decentralized finance with a platform named DeFi Swap. So I haven't joined it yet. It's not about it yet. So I will get onto this. I'll give you an update. I'll try it. I'll see what it's like. Hopefully it'll be a lot easier um, than some of the other swap sites I've looked at. So um, it states here, users who stake the CRO token with the exchange will be entitled to a reward of additional tokens allocated daily. Higher stake amounts will entitle holders to higher yields based on multiply and increases after each year of staking. So, again, I think this is really great for the Crow token. You know, it's had a fantastic year. Uh, it seems like every sort of month it goes up another cent, you know, and it's doing really well. I know it's quite a low supply out there compared to the total supply of Crow. Also, had that recent thing where you had to swap your MCO for Crow. So they're constantly building. I think it's a fantastic exchange, fantastic company as well. Um, you go through the news article, it covers a lot of areas about the DeFi and obviously they don't want to get left behind. That's why they've started this swap. So they're just following the sort of herd at the moment. But, you know, considering the size of the company and what they've already done, I think this is a natural progression for them. So I thought that was really good news. Another thing I did notice on crypto news, which I noticed before, they do it every week. They show all the listings of all the exchanges, the ones, coins that have been added and delisted. So you just scroll down, um, for instance, on Binance, Dai is now on there, Geku Sama, another excellent project. But one there you can see there was Elrond, where before it was ERD, is now EGLD. Now, I've mentioned Elrond many times before. Um, wonderful project, I got involved with it, it was outside the top 200, it was like half a cent. And then it went up to two and a half cents. But now what they've done, they've actually, if I actually go on CoinMarketCap, you'll see it here. It's now called EGLD. Rank 67, market cap's 191 million. But you can see by the supply. Now, a lot of supplies out there, but obviously you can state there, this page refers to the native Elrond currency called eGold. The old ERD currency underwent a redomination of 1,000 ERD equals 1 EGLD, a name change from ERD to EGLD, which is short for eGold. The new EGLD is a thousand times larger than the old ERD. There is no difference between EGLD and ERD except for their name and denomination. So as you can see there, as I say, rank 67, circulating supply is approaching 14 million. The total supply is only just over 20 million, hence in the price. We're approaching $14. But, you know, where before you had 1,000 ERD, that equals just one EGLD now. So I see there's been a few issues. Um, it's all sorted on Binance. You can scroll down there, you see the charts. And its all-time high was actually seventeen dollars um, last week. That is the absolute high. So obviously the transition's going on. It's now there's no more ERD. It is EGLD. Um, so basically, if you go on Elrond.com, you can actually get it's more in depth about it and what it actually equals. It states there one thousand ERD equals one EGLD. So. The path from ERD to EGLD. The start on the 3rd of September, we finally officially begin the swap from ERD to EGLD. EGLD with the native currency of the Elrond economy and all ERD tokens will gradually be swapped to EGLD tokens. So, they say it's a really low supply and they keep developing. I can see this coin sort of continuously growing. You know, they've always stated they're faster than anything else really. And they claim to be faster than what Cardano would be, which is an incredible statement. Um, so he states there are the simple next steps what to do you know it's, it's a lot easier in these sort of, in sort of situations where you actually got an exchange so Elrond in the news again um doing well one thing one news story i really liked on crypto slate which has got there the headline ethereum based DeFi tokens average a 50 percent loss in september here are the winners and losers now i found this really interesting i actually put this article below click on the link below obviously 
DeFi's had a massive pump all year. You look at Yearn Finance was a thousand dollars, went up to thirty-eight thousand. Arb Lend has been an absolute tear. Loop Ring, another one I've mentioned before, fantastic project. So it has had a massive pump. So you did expect a, a, a bit of a pullback, but you can see it's a wonderful chart down here. I didn't even see that well on the screen, but you know it states there. Um, obviously, they've had a drop in September, but the DeFi and tokens averaged a fifty percent drawdown to start September, but most have rebounded like thirty-five percent. Um, LRC up, Wi-Fi and Lend down 10%. Um, but you scroll down here, Loop Ring's the best one performing at the moment. Um, you can see some massive drops. But I think, you know, I've gone through these before. Loop Ring's fantastic, A, fantastic. You know, and you look obviously chain links, synthetics mentioned before. ZRX, you know, it's been around a long time. I've mentioned ZRX before. You know, I don't hold ZRX anymore. Um, I've mentioned Carve, a fantastic four chain. Done a video on that before. Um, Kyber Network, you know, some real solid, great projects. They obviously, Band Network, Balancer, as you know, the rumors about going on Coinbase. Melon is one I really want to get into. And look at the price drop there. You know, the first of September, $76, and it's low, went down to $31. So, Melon's great. BZX, I mentioned the other week, you know, and I think it's really good, really good chart. I'll say I'll put the link below, go through it, and you'll see, you know, because we, we did expect an actual pullback after such rapid growth. Some of these projects were growing like 10 times and beyond that you know absolutely incredible obviously yearn was probably the best one you could have had you know a thousand dollars up to thirty eight thousand um and someone's put it here i hope you bought the dip september is going to be one hell of a month we've got sue shop versus uniswap swell versus curve lend also getting this on ftx and i think it's just i think all the DeFi projects have got such huge potential not all will make it but i think it's you know when we get like charles hoskinson of cardano stating he's obsessed with DeFi. You know, I can really see Cardano, you know, that's what I've always stated, going rapid up in the charts, huge market cap. I believe the team behind Cardano will get up there. I know I've mentioned many times I won't bore you about Cardano again, but I think it's really got huge potential. And all these projects, you know, there's a lot out there and a lot of high quality ones as well. So I think that's really interesting about the DeFi. It's certainly time for me personally, it's not financial advice, but me personally go out and get some more cryptos get some more DeFi. i did a video the other day about the projects i'm buying in september i'm sticking to those but as, you know in october i'll come up with some more projects i might buy some original ones i've always held get some more of those but also going to get again some new projects there's so many projects out there of high quality i want to get involved with so moving on um again getting back to that story about loop ring it's still on CryptoPotato.com. This crypto project saw 220% because of Ethereum's high transaction fees. We talked about this before, about the gas fees on Ethereum. It sort of, you know, puts quite a bit of negativity on Ethereum with their 2.0 and the gas fees, you know. And when you look at Loot Ring, it sort of states there as a protocol for building non-custodial decentralized exchange decks on Ethereum. It is also one of the few projects currently placed ahead of the curve thanks to its use of the ZK roll-up technology. So you can see there by the charts what Loot Ring's doing. I've mentioned Loot Ring before. Again, I think it's a wonderful project, one for longevity, me personally. Um, what I liked here was, again, this is fantastic for Loot Ring, is when, as transaction fees soared, Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin was already urging developers and users to adopt Loot Ring's ZK roll-up technology. Buterin name checked Loot Ring specifically on several occasions. When the owner or the founder of Vitalik, you know, of Ethereum, Vitalik Buterin, mentioned your project, you know, that is just wonderful news. And again, this is only going to, make loop ring get bigger and bigger and it really is one to keep on your radar if it's not already on there um you can see there like ethereum's average transaction fees rose all throughout 2020 from early january low of seven cents up to the recent all-time high fourteen dollars fifty eight that is absolutely incredible um, and you know let's see what ethereum 2.0 does but unless they get that sorted other projects will rise up and one day overtake ethereum so Anyway, Loop Ring, keep that on your radar. Going through, my favourite blog is blog.blockfolio.com. It gives you an overall overview of the sort of biggest news of the week. Um, there before was DeFi. Why, DeFi's darling Wi-Fi, the one we were just talking about, Yearn yeah, Finance, released on Coinbase Pro. That's why it sort of went up 15% the other day. Um, you go through the other ones. Um, Cardano found an entity, Emergo, joins Hyperledger. Binance introduces launch pool farming. Dash launches far pass, fast pass network for pro traders. Theta network partners with Movie Block. Icon, fantastic project mentioned many times. 
network partners with Samoa HR to bring job application for. As I mentioned before, Icon is not just a cryptocurrency, it's a blockchain involving everything, every person's everyday lives. That's what Icon is. It's not just a cryptocurrency, it's blockchain in the best possible way. It covers everything that's all in one. Hence why the sole government, South Korean government, are embracing blockchain and Icon. That's why it is my second favourite and I have high, high hopes for Icon. Um, so going through here, when I obviously go down to the Cardano news bit, states there, Hyperledger, it states there, Hyperledger is a world-class open community enabling members with a wealth of experience to strategically exchange valuable resources and collaborate on furthering the maturation of the overall blockchain ecosystem with real solutions to meet the needs of clients. So I think it's just more great news for Cardano. You see at the moment, we're back under 10 cents. I think that is absolutely crazy. I think it's Dixie low price, that's me personally. You know, I think one day, I personally believe once Gongun's out, we start getting projects building on Cardano because of Ethereum's issues. I believe it will smash through the all-time high again. That's just my personal opinion. So I have such high hopes for it. Um, I did like this about Binance introduces launch pool farming again. Another area of Binance. I've done a video before on Binance and all areas of the site, and it covers so much binance site now it's grown to so much and it takes you quite a while to navigate around the binance site and now they've done the launch pool the farming so basically basically it states there the summary binance binance has released launch pool a new product where users will be able to acquire new token rewards in return for staking bnb busd and other tokens the first project to be hosted on launch pool is bella protocol so again any project gets launched on this i think would do very well huge pump probably they have a dump let's be honest um, it states there, significance is Binance is attempting to bring the decentralized finance DeFi experience to Binance users on their centralized exchange. It will allow them to capture a portion of the rapidly growing DeFi market and liquidity that comes with it. So again, fantastic news. Quick overview on coin market, the biggest gains and losers, biggest gainers in the last seven days. Again, most of them I haven't heard of. Um, Rowan token, you know, I've got that, um, some airdrops with that, you know, it's doing well. That was all free airdrops I got a few months ago now. You know, it's 141% growth. It's great. Cream Finance, need to look into that. That's had a massive pump. Um, briefly looked at that. Phew, must have been about six, seven weeks ago. It was like $100. Now we're 264. Volume last 24 hours is approaching 16 million. Um, personally, me personally, we're not going to buy this now because we'll probably have a bit of a pullback over the next week. But again, there's no guarantee. Entirely up to yourselves. Scrolling down, another one I mentioned last week in my video, which was great. You know, the projects I'm buying in September and SHR was one of them and it's gone up 66% you know it's great now basically three and a half cents you know great got that you know and I've had a massive pump this week with that again the other projects I haven't really heard of um, going to the biggest losers over the last seven days again hardly heard of any of these projects to be honest very low volume you can see swerve there um, it's got massive volume in the last 24 hours um, dropped 76% ETH Plus, we mentioned before, there's a lot of hype of that everywhere. It went up from crazy price to went up like nearly $30. And look at it, it dropped again this week, 94%, down to 25 cents. Crazy drops, you know. Bitcoin Classic, another one. You know, I've mentioned before about Bitcoin projects. If it didn't have the Bitcoin name, it'd mean absolutely nothing. Me personally, if I was a cynical person, I'd say they put Bitcoin in the name. People assume they're getting Bitcoin, especially newbies. Oh, Bitcoin Classic must be a real old version of Bitcoin. Let's get some of that. That's just me being pessimistic. That's why I think a lot of companies use that. I've always said like Ethereum Classic. If it wasn't Ethereum Classic, would anyone bother with it? It's the fact it's got Ethereum in the name. People raise their eyebrows. So again, that's just my personal opinion. Um, so I say biggest losing, and biggest gain. There's not massive any sort of major projects here. Um, so. Not a lot going on really there. I did base maybe laugh on Coin Telegraph. The IRS offers a six hundred twenty-five thousand dollar bounty to anyone who can break Monero and Lightning. Good luck with that with the Ring CT privacy network. If they manage to do that, you could break any privacy coin. You know, I think a lot of them are built on the Ring network. You know, states say United States Internal Revenue Service offered a bounty of up to six hundred twenty-five thousand dollars to anyone who can break purportedly untraceable privacy coins such as Monero. I remember before reading an article where. The downside of crypto is the criminal element and basically the FBI couldn't prove that two criminals had paid each other in Monero you know and they'd love to be able to break the network but they can't you know the official proposal published last week says the IRS will accept submissions in the form of working prototypes if accepted applicants will receive initial payment of 500,000 to break Monero you get basically half a million you know 
anyway so good luck with that that would never happen um so not a huge amount going on i say it's been quite a traumatic week to put it mildly moving forward never look back as they say hopefully it'll be a lot better in the next few weeks months got a lot of high hopes for crypto as we hopefully into a bull run sooner or later who knows but anyone want to help getting started with crypto email me info crypto com. help any way i can links are below social media is below help any way i can possibly so don't hesitate to reach out thanks very much cheers bye